Welcome back to our channel. Today we have an exciting tutorial that will help you take your internet experience to the next level. We're diving into how to create an SSH SSL TLS Stunnel server payload and setting it up on the Netmod VPN app. With this setup, you'll enjoy faster internet speeds and a more secure web connection. If you're new here, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and share it with your friends. Let's get started. To begin, we'll create an SSH TLS server account. Open a web browser on your device and type UDP Custom into the search bar. Hit enter and from the list of search results, click on the official UDP Custom website. Once you're on the UDP Custom homepage, look for the menu icon, usually represented by three horizontal lines at the top corner of the page. Click on it to reveal a drop-down menu. From there, select the SSH Server option, then choose SSH Stunnel Server when prompted. You'll be redirected to the account creation page. Enter a username of your choice, solve the CAPTCHA to confirm you're not a robot, and click Create Now. Within moments, your SSH server details will appear on the screen. Make sure to copy and save these details, as they will be required for the next steps. Next, let's move to the Netmod VPN app. Head over to the Google Play Store and search for Netmod VPN. Once you find it, click the Install button to download the app. When the installation is complete, launch the app by clicking Open. On the app's home screen, tap the hamburger menu icon in the top left corner to expand the menu. From the list, select the plug-in option and choose the SSH mode radio button. This will reveal a new appearance on the app's homepage. Here, you'll find a payload box. Paste your valid payload if you already have one. Below the payload box, enter a valid SNI or the host address of your SSH server. Make sure to check the SSH SSL checkboxes to enable both protocols. Return to the hamburger menu and click on SSH Profile. You'll see an empty profile section. At the top, click the small page icon with a plus sign to add a new profile. In the new window, input the server details you created earlier on the UDP Custom website. In the Remarks section, add a name for your SSH profile. Paste the server's host IP, port, use 443 for SSL, and the username and password in their respective fields. Double-check all the details, then click the Add button to save the profile. Once your SSH profile is created, head back to the app's homepage. At the bottom, click the Play button to connect to your secure web connection. And that's it! You've successfully set up an SSH as TLS server payload on the Netmod VPN app. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and share it with your friends.